of this video is to explain the MATLAB uh, operation uh, called GoalSeek. And what GoalSeek does is it allows us to, to pick the value of a quantity in one cell in order to change the value in another cell to some desired quantity. So uh, I can explain that with this simple example here which illustrate the results of a government bond election. For those of you that don't know, a bond is a way that governments borrow money and that they give you a piece of paper, which is the bond, uh, in exchange for you giving them money and that at some point down the road, at a later date, the government will allow you to cash in the bond and get your money back with interest. So it's a way governments borrow money. Now, a bond election, at least this bond election, requires a two-thirds vote in order to pass. So if we don't get at least a two-thirds yes vote, the bond cannot be issued by the government. So we show the results of the bond election right here in this section. We say the number of yes votes or 4,478, no votes, 2,530, giving a total of just over 7,000 votes. And the yes votes are 64%, not quite the two-thirds that we would need, which would be 67%, um, 66.6%, uh, .6 actually. Okay, so the question is, how many more yes votes would we need to get that 67%? So, uh, in order to calculate that, I'm going to use goal seek. Uh, before jumping right into that, though, let me just explain how I put this heading right here on the Excel page. And I did it by inserting a text box. So this right here is a text box. You see the uh, little handles around it. So uh, how do I insert a text box? Well, here I'm, I click over here. I go over to insert. I hit insert, and then I go all the way down here. There's text box. So text box. So now I can insert text box. Then right in here, I can type text, whatever I want. And just like in other Microsoft Office applications, I can change the text size up here, uh, the font here, the colors, and everything else. And I change the background of the text box here to be light gray. How do I do that? Well, as long as my text box is selected right here, I go right over here and I can pick a color. I picked light gray, so it fills in the box with light gray. So that's how I put in this heading, which says use goal seek in Excel. Now let me just delete that text box that I just put in there. Okay, I'm deleting the text there and uh, click on the text box there. Okay, so how do we use goal seek? So let's go up to um, up here on the uh, uh, on our selection at the very top. Uh, I can go to tools, and I go down to tools. Here's goal seek right here. So I click on goal seek. Now goal seek brings up this dialog box. So what I want to do is I want to set the value in this cell right here, which is E6, cell E6. I want to set that value to 67%, and I want to change the value of this cell to num find out how many yes votes I need to get 67%. So I click that, and then I'll hit OK, and oh, wow, I'm getting something, I'm getting 100%, not 67%. So I made some kind of a mistake. So what I need to do now is to go back and 
and, and find the mistake that I made. And the mistake that I made is, let's go back to tools and hit goal seek. And I do want to set the cell E6 here. There's E6. And I want to change the value, but not to 67, but to 0.67. So that was the mistake I made. And I want to change this cell. There we go. So now I've changed it to 67%. And I needed 5,123 votes. And then there's some fraction. So it would actually need 5,124 votes in order to make that happen. Now something else I want to point out is how did I get Excel to write 67% there? Instead of, instead of 0.67. Well, I, in order to make that happen, I go up into here, in this little box right here, and it allows me to pick the format of the numbers I'm using. If I use general, then I get just a regular decimal number. If I click, I go down here, and I go percentage. So there, 66.94%. So that gives me that. Now I'll hit return. Now let me just here. Now notice I have a whole group of selections here that I could choose um, and uh, uh, for um, for the format of the numbers I am using. So I want to get 67% general number currency. I can put currency. If I put currency, it looks like 67 cents. Short date, accounting, percentage, there. Now you might say, well, I really didn't want 66.9%. I wanted 66.6. Um, but Notice there's a formula in this box. So goal seek will not work unless the box whose value you're trying to change has a formula in it. So the formula is D6 divided by D8. If I didn't have a formula in that box, it would not allow me to use goal seek in that way, whereas the box I'm changing right here does not have a formula. It's just a value. So I see that I need 5124 votes to get that 67%. So that is how we use goal seek. Uh, we'll use it again uh, later in later examples. We can actually use goal seek to find zeros of polynomials, uh, zeros of functions if we so choose. And I'll treat this in another video. Okay.